Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're all in the best of your health. According to today's lesson planner, we have workbook part A, question number 1 and 2 of our new lesson that was stopping by woods on a snowy evening. So both of these parts are related to nouns, verbs and adjectives that we have taken a lot of times before in our grammar book, also in our textbook. Just recognize these things that nouns are the naming words. Verbs are the action words, while adjectives are the describing words. So let's see what we have in our first part. The question is that here are some of the words that are given in the box and they can be used as a noun or as a verbs. Use them in the sentences of your own, once as a noun and once as a, as a verb. Let's use the given words that are harm, mark, shame present and load as a nouns first so if i am using these words as a noun let's see what their sentences could be the first one harm if i am using this word as a noun then it means that it's a physical injury or a kind of a pain so let's make a sentence of this word it will be the gas caused the people a lot of harm the second one is mark if i am using it as a noun then it will be a kind of an imprint or a spot on something the cow has a black mark on its head. Next one is a shame. If I'm using it as a noun, then it will be an embarrassing feeling or a distress. It is a shame to cut down trees. Fourth one is present. Present means a kind of a gift that we give it to someone on their special day. Like for example, the sentence is, my mother gave me a present on my birthday. Last one is load. If I'm using load as a noun, then it means that it is a heavy, bulky weight. And the sentence is, the donkey was carrying a heavy load. So all of these words have been used as a noun over here. Let's use them as a verb now. So if I'm using the words in the box as a verb, then the first one was harm. And the word harm as a verb, it means that to hurt someone, to cause an injury to someone or to cause a damage. So the sentence will be, be careful, do not harm the baby squirrel. And if I'm using the word mark as a verb, it will be, the meaning of this word will be to label something or especially by using a check mark or a bracket. The sentence will be, do not mark your book again. Let's use shame as a verb in a sentence and the meaning will be to make someone feel ashamed of something. The sentence will be don't shame him into doing his work. Fourth one is present. What is present? If I am using present as a verb then this means to give something or to give or to hand over something to someone else. The sentence is the headmaster will present the prizes. And the last one is load. If I am using load as a verb, then it means to fill up something or to stuff something with something else. Like, help me to load this truck. So these were how we are going to use the given words as a noun in the verb. Let's see what we have in question number two now. Alright, second part is, here are two or more words. Use them as a noun and a verb and an adjective in your own sentences. So we have two different words over here. First one is fine and the second one is fit. Both of these words can be used as a noun, verb and as an adjective in a sentence. Let's use both of them as a noun first. So if I'm using fine as a noun, then it means that fine, what we call fine, fine is actually a money that has to be paid on breaking any kind of a law. So if I am making a sentence of fine as a noun, then it will be the thief had to pay a fine. Let's make a sentence of fit as a noun, which means a way in which something gets fit. This suit is a good fit. Now if I am using fine as a verb, then the meaning will be that to punish someone for an illegal act. Like the thief was fined by the court. And if I am using fit as a verb, then the meaning will be to adjust somewhere by having perfect size or shape. Like the snake was able to fit in the hole. 
and if i am using both of these words fine and fit as an adjective so let's see what their meanings are going to be if i am using fine as an adjective then its meaning will be like a pleasant weather or like a wonderful something that is pleasant something that is wonderful or beautiful like they enjoyed playing in the fine weather and if i am using fit as an adjective now then the word fit means that in a good health that someone that who is in a good health or someone who is completely well like they the fit athlete won the race so this was over today's lesson that was related to verbs nouns and adjectives i hope you understood everything thanks for listening